Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Planet Zoo Creative Grasslands. I hope you are doing well. Let us know in the comments what you have been up to and how you are doing. If you are new, hi, welcome to our zoo. And I think we should just get straight back into it, check on our animals and see how they are. Okay, right then. So let's see how everybody is doing. So our African buffalo seems to be okay. They are very noisy. Oh, what was that notification? Many guests think the tickets are underpriced. Okay, so maybe if we up that to five, um, or maybe four, see if they are happy with that. Oh, okay, so that notification's gone, so that's fine. Oh, exhibit, oh yes, yeah, so that's fine. We put a an exhibit in last time, and we also need to go back in and put this in our work zone. So otherwise, our keepers are not gonna come and clean it and look after the animals. Perfect, so we've got a boa constrictor in here somewhere. I don't know where, oh, there they are, look. Okay, yeah, that's kind of freaking me out. So let's move that away from there. Um. Okay, so let's have a look. Everyone seems to be very happy. We are making a good amount of money. We are, our zoo reputation's going up quite nicely, so that's always good. Yeah, generally not too bad at all. Everyone's quite hot still, so um maybe we can get some shades and stuff eventually um i think i will end up moving the um aardvarks eventually because they do get quite stressed out maybe once our zoo expands a little bit we might have to put them in like a little bit of a quieter area of the zoo but for now we'll just have to make sure that they're okay um maybe we can put some plants perhaps around the edges you guys let me know if you have any suggestions on what we could do for to help them a little bit okay, so what i want to do is have this as kind of like a central area of the zoo because it's quite quite a big space we've got um so i think we're gonna have to split it up into sections maybe have like a central part of the zoo um maybe we could maybe have like a little bird section of like for the peafowl or the flamingos um, maybe have deers and antelopes, uh, big cats, um, something like that. Let me know in the comments if you think that's maybe the route that, uh, route that we should go down. Uh, we can maybe have something branching off in each direction, perhaps. Um, so let's concentrate on our central zoo at the moment then. Um, what I did want to do is let's have a look and see... I don't think it's going to work with the glass, but you can do um, curved barrier top. And what this does is allows you to, you see it bending to change the angles of the fences. And I just think it looks really nice and just adds something a little bit different. So for example, when we come to do like our water area, this looks really cool because it will be the it looks like waves or it looks like water perhaps i don't know that's maybe something we could do or if you change the directions of them you see it's going up if you do like minus 45 or something you can create this like semicircle type of look you can go up further yeah so if you bring it down you can get this um kind of again a, maybe another like wave looking effect or something but this does also affect affect the height obviously of your animals so you have to be careful of the animals escaping so let me know if you would prefer this kind of shape or something that goes over the top so we'll see we'll leave it like that for now let's maybe do the same for this one here yeah oh and it did do the glass as well ah okay Maybe for the aardvarks, we should maybe put them up a little bit further. So we'll do the same for this one as uh, the buffaloes. So what do you guys think? Obviously, the bigger the chunk of the wall, bigger the curve is going to be. Um, but I think that just adds a little bit something, a little bit different to the zoo. So let's do this one as well, because maybe we should try and keep our aardvarks as happy as possible. Yeah, so maybe th that might help with them being a little bit happier because it's more it's a little bit higher perhaps i don't know we'll keep an eye on them and we'll see anyway so obviously we need to do a little bit more making of making the zoo a little bit prettier um but again i think i might put another animal in and we will do maybe some kind of beautification of the zoo covering all of the shops and everything would you like me to do that kind of in real time or would you like a time lapse to doing it um 
let me know in the comments below and we'll see. Okay, so we have the African Buffalo here and we also have the Aardvark here. So let's have a look and see what else we can get, what animal we can get. So I'm gonna click on grasslands and let's see. Um, We could get the tapir, plus they're endangered as well. So if we can um, maybe release some to the wild, that would really help with our conservation credits, which allows us to get more of like the Bengal tigers, uh, the cheetahs and stuff like that. So that might be a good, good thing that we could do. They don't necessarily need that much space either. Um, how many babies are they roughly gonna have? Do we think? Oh, okay. So they can they can only have one baby each uh, at, per uh, like mating season. Um, again, they're neutral with humans. The guests can't enter, and there's only one male and one female. Okay, so that's not too bad. Then we could do that. Oh, and they go in with different animals as well. Oh, okay. Did you? Maybe we could get put the giant anteater in as well. That might be quite good. And we can get some sort of bonus. Okay, let's do, let's let's have a look at that then. Um, where's the giant ant eater? Scroll down and see there. Um, again, they're vulnerable. One male, one female. Guess can enter the habitat. Yes, but if we're putting them in with the tapir, then we're not going to do that. Yes. Yeah, so there's only going to be a total of six animals in this um, habitat because of the number of offspring that they have. So one male, female, sorry, one male and one female animal of each species, okay? So, well, let's just, let's give it a go and see. Uh, oh, wrong one. So we're gonna go over to our animal trading and we're gonna filter for the tapir and the giant anteater. Let's see. So we have Oh, that's quite good. Oh, let's grab that one. Uh, the female. Okay, that's not too bad. Fertility is 33%, so it might be a little bit harder for them to kind of conceive. That's not too bad either. Hang on a minute, I've just lost what we're actually doing. Who? So we need a girl. Okay, so we need a female anteater. Let's do the anteater first. Female anteater, again, 50% isn't too bad, but the size isn't isn't great. This one's not too bad. I do kind of want to leave, I know we have a lot of conservation credits, but I do kind of want to leave those for when we get our kind of bigger animals. I think I might get this one because the immunity is really good, the longevity is very good, the fertility is maybe not so bad, but wasn't it? Okay, let's just, let's just do it. Let's just take the plunge into it. Um, okay, so let's get rid of the giant anteater. I don't know why I clicked them both at the same time when we don't necessarily need to do that. So we need a male tapir, 50% again, that's not bad. Um, okay, I'm just gonna get that one because um, the age isn't too bad either. Um, and then we need a female. Again, size isn't great. Longevity is really good. Yeah, I think we're just gonna get this one. We'll get these. So we can go to here and we can put these in our quarantine area. Okay, so whilst that is, uh, whilst that our vets and everything are sorting those animals out, um, how big, do they want this habitat? So 1.25. So I reckon it's gonna have to be quite big, really. Door here, for example. Maybe we can bring it across here. Okay, right, I am going to build this habitat. I'm gonna put it into a time-lapse and um, I will be back with you shortly.
everybody we are back um so we need to get our last two tapirs or last tapir and last anteater back in here this is the habitat um so we've got a nice amount of shelter we've got some lovely trees lovely plants really nice water area over here that they can go swimming with um i did put these reeds in now if you were a guest you can't really see so i don't know so we'll, we'll see how it goes if we can get away with them not being shy then we can drop these down a little bit so we've got their little sleeping area we've got their two food bowls here as well and i also did something a little bit different with the water pipe um do you guys like this um I just tried to maybe think that it's just not a random water pipe sat in the middle and I thought like because these are all uh, fake rocks maybe this would maybe come off so if there is a leak or anything keepers to fix I don't know if you like it then we'll keep it uh, maybe we can integrate this through all the habitats or something maybe um but yeah I think this is a lovely habitat um okay so ah so we have our two anteaters here oh look so sweet lovely oh look look at that oh i didn't realize they kind of walked on their knuckles either oh nice big bushy tails lovely happy and healthy so let's go and have a little nosy at our tapirs we've got one here and we've also got one over here oh Look at that, beautiful. And it's nice we've got a little um, interspecies bonus as well. Uh, where does it say that? Um, oh yeah, interspecies bonus, 20%. Um, so I think if we did add the mon uh, capuchin monkey in here, um, it would give us a good, good rating, but I don't think we really need to do that. Yep, yeah, so our aardvarks again, low welfare. Um, I really do need to figure out what kind of plants we can put here, maybe, just to, so they can um, chill out and not worry about them. So let me know in the comments below of any kind of plant suggestions you would think that we could maybe put here to stop them getting panicked so much. Okay, what is a disease risk? So our African buffalo is a disease risk. We already have our keeper, so they should do some cleaning. Oh, yes for us and we also need to oh we're gonna need something else aren't we we're gonna need two here so wonder if we add this one in here I forgot we were putting two animals in here was when i was um designing the habitat so we can put that one there perhaps let's move this one over slightly let's then do our curb barrier top so this was minus 45 this was plus 45 let's remove some rocks as well so that's fine and then what we can do is move this one copy this one pop this one here and let's select the anteater so yeah so we've got two two animals in the habitat two education boards what we also need are some donation bins let's put one there and then maybe they can also use this one as well as a donation bin yeah i think that's fine perfect i wanted to try something a little bit different with this habitat um whereas i might do the same with our um buffaloes what do you think just so it looks a little bit open probably won't do it with the aardvarks because they're they get a bit stressed as it is um but the donations are definitely coming in for them so that's all good don't need to worry about that so that's perfect um yeah so again let me know in the comments if you want me to do it on this side as well maybe let's get the rocks from over here let's pluck this one here and let's move this one just like that I don't know i just like it like i think it just hides the water pipe so much more um get rid of this one let's move this one can we change the the color of the water pipes do we know i don't think we do we can um that one in here oh we can oh i generally didn't know that 
Ah, right, okay. I wonder if we can select. We can go into group. Select this one. Yes, we can. I wonder if we make, not necessarily yellow, but if we made this kind of like a stone kind of colour, that one maybe? And then again, the bottom. Let's see, what does that look like? Yeah, so it doesn't necessarily do this section, but it does do the top of the water pipe. So I, I suppose that's better than nothing, isn't it, I guess. So let's just quickly go around and edit these colors. And then what we can do is just go and double check that we've named all our animals, mum and dad, um, just to make sure we're keeping on top of everything, just making sure that everyone is all okay. So we can change that color, that one there and that one there. Perfect, okay. So let's go into our zoo management. Your zoo has no security card. Yes, that's fine. Um, I think it's, too, it's coming all right, isn't it? I quite like it. Um, work zones I've already set up, so that's fine. Zoo overview, we've got lots of happy guests our inspection report so we're still quite low on education once we get a little bit more money we can put some education the educators that speak into the microphones and everything all right for crime so we are doing well so far so we've got a mum and a dad here oh the artwork's pregnant oh that's exciting um so let's put our m here the reason why i do this is because when they all start having babies and our zoo gets really big it's really hard to keep on top of um who was the original mum and um who were who were the children who were the dads and stuff like that we don't necessarily need to do it with the exhibit animals um because that's fine um but it just stops uh inbreeding and stuff like that because we don't want any in like kind of inbred kind of animals um i don't oops I don't know where we stand with um you guys let me know with um like the exhibit animals because obviously they're going to inbreed as well but it never gives you a warning to say the exhibit animals are inbreeding so does it not count the same as, as the children for exhibit animals please let me know down below i'm not entirely sure um we also do need a name for our exhibit so if you want to let me know any names any names for our shops as well that we could do um yeah and any kind of theme that you would like um in this particular zoo as well do we go through and we have different themes throughout the zoo do we try and keep every, all the theme throughout so do we have let's see do we have more of a south africa theme um do we have more of a new world theme or like a Europe maybe because we are technically in like the Europe area? Um, oh, this is nice. Like, do we have this kind of theme throughout the zoo? I don't know. You guys let me know what you want. Um, and then I will try and put something together. Okay, so let's see. So what are our guests after at the moment? Close this one, let's see um conservation rating okay so we haven't got very much conservations we haven't got any marketing but i'm all right for marketing at the moment i'm not too worried about that i do let's co copy this one maybe we can put a couple of like a board here or something and let's change this one to maybe b population um what I do want to do is see if eventually have the conservation boards um, in kind of like a decorative arrangement or something that we can maybe put some shades down with as well. Yeah, and I did see something on um, Instagram, which I really wanted to try and make is a like a donation well. So maybe we could have like a donation well here or something. So when they leave the zoo, they can chuck some money in if they wanted to, if they have any change left over. I don't know, it's just something a little bit quirky that maybe we could try. Um, we also do need some lights in our zoo. Also, did I update this one? Yeah, so I did 6.30 till 7. So yes, yeah, so we still get a little bit of um, like sunset going on that's not too bad 
what I wanted to do is go back through our habitats and just make sure that everything webcams perhaps facilities webcams yeah so let's plop some of these in just so it gives us some um we can see the animals and what they're actually up to which is always really nice um maybe let's put one here so they can see and we can go back through and we can have a little look at them in a minute um maybe let's put one here so we can see the aardvarks there maybe one there i like to put them low so when people kind of like on the websites or like if our zoo for example had a website um they could you can go on and you can have a little look at them you can look at the animals and you can sometimes have a look at the webcams i always think if they're up really high you're not going to be able to get the true perspective of the animals so i always like to put them down a little bit lower look at this look, at that. look how cool that is that'd be like a really nice view maybe let's just put one just there like that so then what we can do is we can oops no wrong one we can enter camera view look and then see like, this is what other people would see um so we get a nice view and we can zoom in as well get a nice view of everything that they could possibly see and we can skip through them all again we can see them here so this is the um aardvarks let's see you can see them like that just walking around being their cute little selves okay everybody i think i'm gonna call this episode a day thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed the video please give it a like it really helps me to know what you like and the type of and what type of video you want to see and always leave any thoughts suggestions and reminders in the comments below um, because this is your zoo too we are building it together subscribe to the channel to become part of the the great community that we are trying to build and again thank you so much for watching Bye bye